Hello everyone, welcome to the second Sessler Something here at Revision 3. We're going to be changing the name. We'll talk about that at the end of this video, but let's get down to business. Nintendo, the Wii U, it is out. Um, I want to start this by explaining that I do not hate Nintendo. A lot of people seem to think I hate Nintendo. I get very frustrated with Nintendo. They drive me absolutely batty, but I love Nintendo. Um, my first system was an NES. I played Super Mario Brothers like crazy. There's a sort of almost a deep emotional bond I have with them, which may be the reason some people see uh, what hate towards Nintendo. Uh, no, I, I am an observer of Nintendo and sometimes am quite quizzical at some of their decisions, which brings me to the Wii U. I tried to get one for myself uh, Sunday morning. I did not pre-order because I did not know where I would be living and to have one sent. So uh, I now just tried to go down and get one. Uh, I was unsuccessful. I was sixth in line. They only had four at the Target here. Uh, so empty-handed. I'll keep you apprised about how that works out in the future. Let's get to the point. I was there with yeah, a handful of other people, maybe about 10, and I think it's reasonable to assume if you're waiting out in the cold early in the morning to be get a system on day one, there's a enthusiasm surrounding your purchase decision, but I couldn't find that among everyone. In fact, it was almost apprehension. Uh, they were uncertain what they were getting and what it would be down the line. You know, they kind of knew they were gonna play Zombie U, they didn't know if there were any other games they wanted to get. And I don't think I'm the only one who probably had one of these experiences with people waiting in line. And I think it really comes down to the very strange messaging that Nintendo has been putting out about the Wii U. It's kind of unclear who it's for. It's kind of unclear what the games are gonna be like that really utilize the pad. And I think in large part, the apprehension stems from people's experiences with the Wii. We were very, very excited about the Wii when it was first introduced. And there was an undeniable novelty about what they were doing with motion, but it just never really evolved into that new way of playing games. It tended to be a more arduous way to play games. And half the time you're like, God, this might be easier with a normal controller. And the elegant simplicity of something like Wii Sports never seemed to be recaptured. I still, to this day, don't understand why they just didn't do a Wii Golf with more courses because that was one of the most fun things you could ever play on the Wii. I think the alienation of the hardcore really became an issue and that people just don't know, even despite what they're saying, if they're really going to be indulging this sense of hardcore games. Uh, yes, they have third-party support, but it is Arkham City. It is Black Ops. And let's be honest, most hardcore gamers out there probably have a 360 or a PS3, and that's what they're playing those games on or have already played those games on. What really is most important for Nintendo, and this is what confuses me so much, is the reason you buy Nintendo systems are for Nintendo games, much more so than Sony or Microsoft. And they really haven't made the case that you're gonna be playing a proper Mario game. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers U does not qualify in my book as that. Uh, that you're gonna be playing a new Zelda game. Yes, we're gonna get Pikmin, but of their kind of major franchises, that one probably is the most narrow in terms of its appeal. I just don't understand why they haven't at least talked about a Zelda game somewhere down the line. Because right there you make the case, you have to have a Wii U if you're gonna be playing the new Zelda game. I, 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 I'm just not certain why they're so apprehensive in trying to embrace the hardcore that way. And I think people are seeing them also selling a casual system. And here's the problem. I don't know if the casual gamer out there is fully aware that the Wii U is a brand new console or if they're interested in wanting to buy a new one. I mean, look, a casual gamer is called casual because they are not high on the information level in terms of what's happening in the gaming industry. They have a casual relationship with video games and calling it Wii U, it's very easy to, for someone to think that, oh, okay, that's just you know something I add on to my existing Wii. Also, if people bought a Wii and they stopped playing it, is that gonna really incentivize them to buy a brand new system that they're worried that they're gonna stop playing as well? But it really comes down to the price. $350 is much more expensive than what the Wii sold at. And that's gonna make a case that people might be buying it as their one and only system. And of course, we have potential systems from Sony and Microsoft that may be announced next year. I think Nintendo has a, about a four month window when they really need to make the case that this is an essential thing to have in the home. And if they can't do that, it's gonna be a pretty rough road. But at the very least, we'll have something to talk about. 
All right, so uh, remember last week, it's called Sessler Something. I said, hey, come up with some ideas. Oh my, there, there are quite a few ideas that came our way. Um, feel free to keep on sending them. Remember to put it hashtag the Sess, um, and you know, just send it to me at Twitter at, at Adam Sessler. But I wanna run through some that we like, and I wanna kinda get your responses, how you think about that, because this is kind of a group effort. Don't you think, you know, we're, we're sharing, we're cooperating. This is what Barney taught you, okay? And it's coming back to show you it can really bear fruit. All right, let's look at some of these here. Um, there are two that I really like, but I don't think we're gonna call this segment that. Cesspool and cesspit. They're gonna show up somewhere. I just, they're, 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 they're too perfect. Uh, that I, I wanna be very particular about how I use them. Uh, one I happen to like is ses sessions or the sessions. Uh, that's a very, very good pun. Sessler speaks. Sessler spiel and Sessler soliloquy uh, all showed up very, very frequently. And then there's Sessler says. One more that I thought about is Adam talks about stuff. I want to see how you guys feel about that. So those are some of the ones out there. Give them a consideration. Uh, get back with your thoughts and some of your other ideas. And we're, but we're trying to hone in on what we're going to call the segment. More importantly, if you want more of this, more and more of this, you need to subscribe. Go to youtube.com slash rev3games. You can also subscribe on iTunes. And of course, you can always go to revision3.com. So uh, get your thinking caps on. You know, Tell me what you think about the Wii U. We'll talk next week.